And I, I was preaching yesterday, preached twice up in uh, Newton beside Charlotte. Had a great day. What a great church. Um, you, uh, the, 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 the pastor, Mark Ivey, has been here, on here a number of times and had a tremendous, tremendous day with them. They were so generous to our ministry. They gave a, a fabulous offering to, towards um, the orphan's hands as well, which was just wonderful. But I said this yesterday, that the church has lost its identity and the world recognized it before we did. The church has lost its clear voice. You're, you're, all the time you're hearing churches, oh, homosexual marriage is fine and this is fine. Oh, that's okay, we can do that now and it doesn't matter. And, and um, people are saying, I, because of my, pro, my, pro, my, pro, my pro-life stance, rather, I've got Christian friends of mine, Christian friends that, that, that will call me and say, man, you don't understand, it's more, it's more immoral to take a baby into the world and not support it than to terminate its life in the mother's room. And I say, you mean murder it? It's, more, it's, it's, it's better to kill it than to give it the chance to breathe and live and see and sing and, and, and look at a sunset and, and know that God and, and have God's grace get a chance to reach them. Well, yeah, that's Christians. So because we've lost what we stand for, because the church has lost this clarion, crystal clear thing, then what happens is the world doesn't know and the, and the, the government knows. Those that are, that are forming society know. And they're thinking, man, here's our chance to exclude the church from the process. You watch and see in the next four years how they will turn against the church. The first thing they're going to do, now listen, you write this down, today's date, write this down. The church is full of hate speech. Here, I'm going to give you the words they're going to use. It's going to start on Facebook and social media, and it's going to go through the whole thing. And they're going to say that the church, because we speak clearly about an issue, we are that's hate speech. And we can't tolerate hate speech in our multi- cultural society and you better shut up because you believe in things that the bible believes in and that is no longer relevant for the day we live in and then we are in trouble because two guys are going to show up at your church's door and say we want you to marry us and you're going to say no that's against the bible and they're going to say you've just violated our human rights and they're going to sue you and your church and you're going to be in debt for millions of dollars. And that is the plan that they have against us.